Today we're going to dissect the muscle, and the muscle is referred to as a bivalve. And the reason we call it a bivalve is because bi means two, and valve means shell. And our muscle has two shells. The first thing we want to do is orient ourselves. And we can see if I turn the muscle up, we see this dark region right here. This is the hinge of the muscle. This is where the bivalve is going to open up. The hinge constitutes the dorsal aspect of the muscle. Opposite that is going to be the side that actually opens up. That's the ventral side or the ventral aspect. If we go back to the hinge again, we see a short side directly adjacent to it. That's going to be the anterior aspect. And it's going to be the anterior or headward aspect because that's where the mouth is going to be located. On the other side of the hinge is a much broader or gentler, longer side. And this is going to be the posterior aspect or posterior side. And when we open up this muscle, you're going to see that the anus is on the posterior aspect. So the first thing we need to actually do in dissecting is to go ahead and open up this muscle. But to open it up is, is difficult. There are two very strong muscles holding these two valves or shells closed. So in order to get at the inside of this muscle, we have to cut those two muscles. Those muscles are called adductor muscles, ADD. Because in a sense, when they close the shells, the muscle is adding to itself by closing itself, by bringing the two shells closer together. In a sense, the muscle is adding to itself. So those are referred to as adductor muscles, adductor muscles. So let's go ahead and cut those adductor muscles. So I'm going to go to the ventral side and off to the side. I can see one right here. It's a little difficult, but I can feel it with the probe. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut that. Now be very careful here because you're not going to be able to cut the entire adductor muscle. But get in there and cut what you can. I'm going to cut. I can feel the adductor muscle cutting underneath me. Make sure to keep the scalpel away from you in terms of the direction you're cutting. Go to the other side and do the same thing. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to look. I see the adductor muscle and I'm going to begin to cut it. And sometimes you can cut the entire adductor muscle and sometimes you cannot. Cut as much as you can and then slowly open it up. Now you do not want to rip it open because you could rip the other organs. So open it up a little bit. I'm going to move this little stick that kept it open. And as you open it up a little bit, again, go ahead and further cut those adductor muscles. When those adductor muscles have been totally cut, the muscle should open quite easily, and it does. Open it slowly and gently. We can see two structures beginning to peel away from the shell itself. And these two structures, this one, this one here, and this one over here, those are, those are referred to as the mantle. The mantle is simply a sheet of cells. It's a thin sheet of cells. And that sheet of cells, we can see it pulling away. This sheet of cells, the mantle, is responsible chiefly for making the shell. And then we can see the two adductor muscles here and here that were cut. So I'm going to help this out a little bit and I am going to remove or pull away the mantle. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up a bit. In fact, I think it's going to be better if I do it this way. The muscle seems to be want to seems to be favoring a particular side here. This muscle is being difficult. Let me go ahead and cut this. There we go. 
And you can see those two very large adductor muscles that were cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is to kind of pull back the mantle. And underneath the mantle, I see two more membranes. One, two. These are gills. They're very flat and very thin to increase the surface area. If I lift up the muscle, underneath I'm going to see the same structure again. I can see gills. One, and then underneath it I can see another one right there. And those are the gills used for gas exchange. Now, I'm going to remove the gills out of the way. And the next structure I see is this large muscular structure. This is the muscular foot. This is what mollusks, which a bivalve is, is kind of famous for. Mollusks have three characteristics, one of them being a muscular foot. This muscular foot is used to dig into the sand. Now if we go a little bit further, we see the color and texture of the tissue change a little bit, and we come to this large, shiny, soft mass. And this large, shiny, soft mass is referred to as the visceral mass. Viscera meaning organs. Inside here are the gonads, the stomach, the intestine, and the digestive gland. We're going to eventually open that up in just a minute. Now if I look over to this side, remember this is the anterior aspect, it's shorter here, the headward aspect, I see two long pieces of tissue, one and two. And these are referred to as the labial palps. Labium means lips. So these, in a sense these are lip-like structures, labial palps. And these lip-like structures are going to be used to guide food, small bacteria, pieces of plankton, into the mouth of this organism. At the base of these labial palps, if we look around, we can sometimes see a small opening, and that is going to be the mouth. Sometimes we're able to see it, and sometimes we are not. And I'm not seeing it but the mouth should be in that area. The anus should be on the other side, over here. And it is also somewhat difficult uh, to find. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to begin to cut into the visceral mass. Actually, before we do that, let's go more dorsal. So I'm going to flip the gills over and I'm going to look, I'm looking for a cavity back here called the pericardial cavity. Peri means around, cardial refers to the heart. So just dorsal to the gills. And we can see this structure right here. This structure is the heart. And surrounding it is the pericardial cavity. Peri means around, cavity means space. So there's a space around the heart. And that's the heart right there. There it is. Now if I clean this up just a little bit, I see a tube. There it is. And it should be on the other side also. A thin dark tube. The thin dark tube is the intestine. Odd as it may seem, the intestine passes partly through the heart. So that is the intestine right there. Now let's flip over the gills and back to the visceral mass again. I'm going to go ahead and make an incision in the visceral mass very gently. I'm going to make an incision in the visceral mass, not too deeply because I don't want to damage the organs. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get in there with my scissors. And I want to cut just the very surface tissue. The very, very, very surface tissue. Again, take your time doing this. You don't want to damage the underlying organs. And then I'm going to try to reflect this tissue as best I can without tearing the organs. There we go. 
Be very gentle when it comes to this. Take your time. And as I reflect this, in fact, I'm going to cut some of that off so we can have a better look. You'll see a yellowish glandular structure. That is the gonad. And in fact, we can continue to visualize that. I'm going to cut some more of this off. We can see more of that yellow structure. All that is gonad. And then over here, you can see a darker colored structure. I'm going to, there we go. A green structure, in a sense. You can see it right here. This green structure is the digestive gland. In terms of texture, they look very similar. But in terms of color, there is a definite color difference. Green, the digestive gland, versus yellow, the gonad. Now if I take my scalpel and I make a cut a little bit deeper in here, not too deep, but a little bit deeper, and I'm going to wick up some of that excess preservative. Once in a while we can see some tubes in there. And this tube would be part of the intestine. I saw a little tube right there. There's a piece of tube. And this tube is going to be coiled, and that's the intestine. So poke around a little bit as best you can without damaging things, and look for a tube, or even two or three tubes. And when you see that tube, you know you're looking at the intestines. So you may see the intestine in here and also when you go hunting around for the heart you can see the intestine also. Again we have the heart there and then you can see I've actually pulled it out. Uh, I've torn that intestine but that dark structure is the intestine. And that's going to be it for the muscle dissection.